Our top story, the Electoral Boundaries Review Committee has released its report. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has accepted its recommendations. They set out new electoral divisions based on population changes. This is, of course, the first step towards the general election being called. May Wong joins us now for more on this story. May, what can you tell us about the key changes? That's right, Mel. Uh, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong had previously said that he wanted to provide for more diverse views in Parliament and having more alternative voices in Parliament, he said, would, in his words, generate more robust debate as well as to improve policy formulation. Now, Prime Minister Lee had also said that the changes to smaller GRCs and more SMCs may or may not result in more seats being contested. That is not the purpose that he said before, but ultimately he said it's up to the opposition MPs to field the candidates to contest the elections and up to the vote to decide who they want to represent them in Parliament. With the changes, Singapore can expect at least nine opposition seats for this time. Now let's take a look at the various changes we have in place. You're likely to see scenes like these soon. The timeline could be anything from 17 days to nearly six months if we go by past elections. The electoral constituencies have been carved out, and as mandated by the Prime Minister, the committee has mapped out 12 single-member constituencies, three more than the last general election in 2006. Pioneer, Sengkang West and Redden Mas are among the eight new ones. And something else new, two group representation constituencies or GRCs with only four members each. They are Holland Bukit Tima and Moulmein Kalang. The last time there were four member GRCs was in the 1997 general election. All eyes are usually on the two existing opposition wards of Podong Pasir and Hogang, which remain. The average number of members in a GRC has been reduced to five with the resizing of several six-member GRCs. There'll now be 11 five-member GRCs compared with nine before. Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew's six-member Tanjong Paga GRC has been scaled down to a five-member group now. Marine Parade GRC, headed by Senior Minister Go Chok Tong, has also been reduced from its existing six-member team to five. Two new five-member GRCs of Ni Sun and Cha Chu Kang have also been created created, while the number of six-member GRCs have been reduced to two from five. They are Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong's Ang Mong Kyo GRC and Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien's Pasiris Pongol GRC. With the proposed changes, the total number of MPs will increase from 84 to 87. Each MP will represent 20,000 to 36,000 electors. Over 2.35 million Singaporeans are expected to cast their votes this time. Now, the boundaries report may be out, but no date has yet been set for the polls. Parliament is still scheduled to debate on the plans of the various ministries for the year over the next two weeks. The next step to move the process along will require Parliament to be dissolved. The only certainty about the possible poll date now is that it's unlikely to be called within the next two weeks. Mel? Reporting live there from the newsroom. Well, now that the report on electoral boundaries has been drawn up, what can you expect in the lead-up to polling day? Now, the next key event to look out for would be the dissolution of Parliament. Now, this can happen any time from now. From past elections, the timeline was anything between five months and just 17 days. Now, once Parliament is dissolved, the general election must take place within three months. First, the President has to issue the writ of election to the returning officer. The returning officer then issues the notice of election. Now, nomination day takes place at least five days to a month after the writ is issued. Campaigning then goes full swing for at least nine days. Now, this can stretch to eight weeks. Campaigning will feature house-to-house -house visits by candidates, while posters and banners will be put up. Election rallies will also be held by the various parties. And for the first time, internet election advertising will be allowed. This means parties and candidates can leverage on new media tools to engage voters and spread their message. Now, this time round, there's also a one-day cooling-off day before polling. That's where no campaigning is allowed except for party political broadcasts. Now, introduced in April 2010, Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong had said the day will give voters time to reflect rationally on issues after the emotional high of election campaigning. So, 17 days would be the minimum number of days needed from the time the writ is issued to polling day. 
You're watching News 5 tonight and recap of our top story. The Electoral Boundaries Review Committee released its report today. Incumbent members of parliament from uh, the ruling People's Action Party and opposition candidates have moved into the next gear of preparations for the coming general election due by February next year. Changes are in store for two of Singapore's largest GRCs, Pasir Ris Pongol and Sambawang. A new single constituency, Pongol East, will be carved out of Pasir Ris Pongol, an area currently looked after by Member of Parliament Michael Palmer. Well, I think that it's just basically a, a population uh, growth issue. Um, over the last three or four years, Pasir Ris Pongol GRC has grown tremendously with a lot of new flats coming up in Pongol as well as uh, the Bangkok side of Sengkang. Um, if you look at that, uh, if they didn't carve out one division, we would actually be enough for a seven-man GRC. So with the new flats coming up, particularly in the Pongol area, Pasir Ris Pongol remains a six-man GRC but with one division cast as an SMC. I think it's just a natural progress, progression due to population growth. While in the north, a new GRC, Nisun, will be formed from two single-member wards, Nisun East and Nisun Central. Nisun East MP Associate Professor Ho Peng Ki views the development with a tinge of sadness, but says being part of a GRC will enable residents to tap on more resources. As for the new Wampo single-member ward, MP for Jalan Besar GRC, Mr Heng Chi Hao, says he's been looking after the area for the past 10 years. I certainly will know this area very well. I know the people here. I know um, the, every brick, uh, every uh, blade of grass here. Uh, I've walked the place. Um, so it's a strong network of relationship. While Minister of State Lee Yishen, who is second advisor to the Juchat single division, says he hasn't seen any opposition activity in the area. Juchat is currently held by Mr Chan Su Sen. We are a party that, uh, you know, uh, do our work all the time consistently. And uh, what we have promised in our uh, GRC, we have uh, fulfilled them. Uh, and all the changes and improvement is uh, they are very visible and can be seen. So I think uh, these are the kinds of uh, preparation that we do. Uh, so we go in uh, to the G with, uh, I believe, a solid uh, track record. The opposition parties in Singapore have been busy studying the Electoral Boundaries Review Report. While the report would give them the clearest indication as to where they could stake their intention to contest in the next general election, some of the parties have also had to relook at some of their earlier plans on where they had originally wanted to contest. We intend to contest in uh, Hong Kong North, uh, um, Cho Chu Kang GRC, Pioneer SMC, West Coast GRC, and Radin Mass, and possibly Yi Hua as well. They overlap uh, precisely with where we've been conducting outreach since 2009. Um, and um, so um, the residents generally know us very well there now. The Workers' Party says it has been working in the northern sector of Singapore. We would always like to focus on the areas that we are more familiar with. So offhand, I would say uh, as an initial comment that uh, definitely our Junet and East Coast GRCs would be within our area of interest. Uh, and of course, Alkang SMC, Jujet SMC, which we contested previously as well. The Singapore Democratic Alliance it is interested in contesting in Pongol East and Sengkang West SMCs and Pasir Ris Pongol GRC. We have been well prepared and uh, we will go for the six men GRC and the two single seat. However, all this was still subject to the Supreme Executive Council approval. Much activity can be expected in the coming weeks at the different constituencies in the run-up to the elections. If well, for more details on the changes in the boundaries, do tune in to Channel News Asia at 10pm for a special edition of Singapore Tonight, prepping for the polls.